It ain't even gonna happen. Cause I mean, I just feel like that's the way the world's set up at this point. Cause it's like, if you can't go to Bella Noche's, then where can you go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the internet is just for everybody to speak their peace. But me, I have learned my lesson. I don't wanna speak to the internet. Uh-uh. Let me speak to the Lord. Let me meditate. If I got to have me a drink on the side where nobody see it, Cool. But going to the internet, not in, in like, y'all know what I went through. What's up y'all, it's your girl Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Messy Monday. Um, I don't know. Monday. Whoa. I don't know, um, like, on this messy Monday, he talking about Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, and people that I don't know. So, hopefully I don't have to skip this, you know what I'm saying? And, um, cause y'all know, if I can't get into it, I just can't get into it. I be trying. But if I can't get into it, I just can't. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's get it. Yeah, it is so much going on. for them to get right back in the game. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. It's stupid for the person here to be those two. Because <laughs> I don't have time for this. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of hearing all this bullshit. I should have known she wasn't dumb here for real when she said, I'm done with that. And she giggled. You know what? She pulling the NBA number. That's what she doing. She just pulling in now. She doing what he done did. She pulling the NBA on, on, on so the, on the, the 
playing in it. Someone needs to have it, because now you're playing. You're playing. You want to sit on here and play these games? Oh, I'm broken up. I'll be together. Oh, I'm not broken up. Child, whatever y'all do, do it. But y'all need to stop running to the internet with your damn problems, because now it's stressing us the fuck out. It ain't even going to happen, because, I mean, I just feel like that's the way the world's set up at this point. Because it's like, if you can't go to Bella Noche's, then where can you go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the internet is just for everybody to speak their peace. But me, I have learned my lesson. I don't want to speak to the internet. Uh-uh. Let me speak to the Lord. Let me meditate. If I got to have me a drink on the side where nobody see it, cool. But going to the internet, not in, in like... Y'all yeah, know what I went through. <laughs> Y'all want us not to be involved in the bullshit, but then you put it in our face like a little fat kid with cake. And then we just like, nah, 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 nah. I feel like, fuck, the stomach aches because I had too much of the bullshit. They go, he toxic and she toxic to me. Now they both he just toxic. Toxic. Me out. toxic. They like drama. They do. They, they like drama. You know what? The court says, fuck them. <laughs> Fuck off. We ain't got time for this no more. So anyway, if it ain't about me, they gonna break up again in two more weeks. It's okay. Yeah. Next to the Shazani Ice Tea, we have Prodigy and Ray versus Prince. All right, so this is just a little light light. So Prodigy oh, and Ray got the project coming out. And if y'all know who they are, they are different boys from Miles' behavior. So if they decide to write, y'all just said, Fuck Prince, they're right. So Prodigy's daddy came to come in and he said, No, actually, it's the other way around. <laughs> no, actually. Now, if y'all don't know, Prince has been doing his own thing. He has at least two, I think, projects already. He's already released a project and now a new song. And so he's just been doing his own thing. Sure, Yo, so. let people do their own thing. People always take people doing their own thing as beef. I would never understand that. Like, you can have something going and shit. Sometimes things happen. Life happens. A whole pandemic, for example. You know what I'm saying? People got to do their own thing. People do what they do. Let them do it. It's all right. It don't mean it's beef. Hell, even if you separate yourself from a person, don't mean it's beef. Sometimes you just vibrationally don't match. And you know what? That's okay. Um, I don't know what happened between the three, Trust what me. went down, and why it is what it is. But honey, it is what it is, and it is what it is. And the girl said she was not about to be with Prodigy and right now. So. I don't know, girl. I ain't got too much on the situation, but hopefully the girls come tell me about it, girl. Something going on. <laughs> anyway, well, that's all I gotta say about that. If it ain't about me, one of these like thin girls gonna spill tea. Next case. <laughs> Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Bad Baby. So for those who didn't know, Bad Baby had enrolled herself into um rehab. Well, come to find out, her mom enrolled her into rehab because her mom found out. That girl that looks like a total had, different uh, person. Pill, but, okay, baby. but she said it really wasn't no pills to be proud But anyway, they got my business. So so it's been gone for nine days, but to me it's like just three days and she back already thinking folks are gonna miss her on Instagram or whatever case they need, but girl, nobody really missed her dad. But that's neither here nor there. This fuck little hot to my head, say. Someone said what rehab didn't last long. No sh I'm back. What's supposed to last long? 30 days, okay? Now let's make something clear. I was not no park head, okay? I don't believe it. I mean, she looked like a total different person. Did Bart she get breast? It has a heart attack. But, I'm back in bed with I did need a break though. What are you talking about? New teeth, new hair, new boobs. Did she get a butt? Isn't she 16? There's a lot going on. 17? In my personal life. Whatever. I had to separate myself. Well, child, welcome back to social media. We hope you got all the help you need. But for the look of that little earthquake thing that you got going on, you still need some time to yourself. Uh, okay. Well, that ain't none of my business. Um, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Cool. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with it. Week, so she's still everything we do. Okay. I'm well, dead. I'm gonna try my best to get into this, but I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If 
if I can't get into it, I'm not. Okay. The makeup world. Now, I don't know too much about this because I used to, you know, be focused on the Caucasian drama, but Messy Money kind of leaned towards the African American drama. But I want to get back to all of them. So, Jeffrey Star had said some things about some of his friends, and now his friends are fed up with his BS. They said that he, there was leaked memos and messages of him talking about his friends. So it all started when Cameron Lester, a black beauty boy, decided to come forward on his Instagram speaking up against Jeffree Star. He posted a very serious 28-minute video and girl. I'm just gonna tell you the most shocking things he said. So basically, Miss Cameron Lester and Miss Jeffree Star were hanging out in Houston, Texas. Cameron said he overheard Shane and Jeffree had a FaceTime call and in which they were talking negatively about James Charles. Now, mind you, this was in March, so none of the drama had happened yet with Tati. And I remember Shane Dawson called and he was going off about James Charles and something and telling, like, just like cursing James out. And I was just like kind of took, taken back because I've never seen Shane Dawson like that. And he was just going in on James. And I was like, oh, is there like some, there, there's something like brewing, there's something going on with James and Shane and Jeffrey. So I was just uncomfortable and I just was like, I, I, I'm gonna stay over here. It's always, I felt like this was a game. I felt like this continued to be a game with Jeffrey and a game with Shane Dawson. Even with Shane Dawson posting me on his platform, I was grateful, but I always, I felt like it was kind of like to silence me and be like, hey, like we're gonna just keep giving you breadcrumbs and hanging you by a string and manipulating you so you can stay quiet, so you will never speak your truth, so you won't talk about that situation in the hotel um, that Shane was going off and talking, cursing out James. If you guys know me, James helped me with my career when I first got into the beauty space and tell my HIV story. Like, he's always been very supportive of me. And I was like, I don't, like, I don't have a problem with him. Do I agree with everything he does? No, but I don't have a pro personal problem with him, and he's done so much for me. So why would I go against him? Okay. And he was like, well, you don't fucking owe him forever. And the girls well, were like, enough is enough. So I guess that that's now it's brought Shane Dawson back into the whole situation from when the whole Tati and James Charles went down because um, Shane Dawson had wrote a four-page apology, but then he deleted it. He was very much talking about some um, how he knew that, you know, Tati was going to do what she was doing, but he didn't want to say anything about the situation because he did feel that James Charles needed to be humble because he said that a lot of the makeup girls have these egos and they're vicious and they're malicious and they're like to tear people down and they love drama and this is that. But he said because he was a friend, he did feel like, you know, he listened to Tati. His friends could come to him and talk to him about stuff. Him and James Charles are cool. I mean, him and Jeffree Star were cool, so he knew, but he said he doesn't. Y'all, this, you know, I hate he say, she say shit. <laughs> um, this is like beyond petty to me. I'm gonna keep listening. I feel like Jeffree Star felt bad about tweeting. It was just a whole lot of, a lot of, I don't know. So now Shane talking about some, he is not gonna be in the makeup world no more. He gonna go back to doing what he wanna do. Y'all can cancel him if you want to, but he's going back to making his fun videos. It's just a lot of, but people are believing that Tati, Jeffrey, and James were all in cahoots on the takedown of the 19-year-old James Charles when he was going through what he was going through with Tati. Now, I don't know, but that's what people are believing. It's a whole lot of whole lot of, uh, y'all, keep me up with this because I, I love to hear about that kind of drama. That drama be messing. It's they be like trying to end it. Okay, I ain't gonna cap. They damn sure on some, uh, what's that Tiger show? Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Car Carol Baskin. Yeah, that Tiger show. That's how they try. White people, when they come for each other, like with us, it's bad. I ain't gonna cap. You know, somebody always get hurt. Hell. Um, but with white people, they wanna hit you in your pocket. Each other. Like, oh, so you wanna talk shit about me? Fine, okay. So that 10 million that you're making, yeah, let's cut that down to two. How about that, Bob? You know <laughs> that's, that's how white people do, you know what I'm saying? They cut your check, okay? That's, that's, that's some real shit right there. I can get my ass, girl. 
something about that too being afraid to say what you need to say on the internet oh hell in general you know what i'm saying um and i'm not saying every like i've become a little less confrontational so i just rather get your ass on out the way you know what i'm saying so however i gotta get you out the way that's what i'm gonna do you know what i'm saying um respectfully <clears throat> um because i don't want the drama you know what i'm saying i've i've just noticed how much energy drama and and, and confrontation and shit like how much it it takes on your your body and your mind and your energy it's it's too much yeah so um i'd rather just send your ass on on the way so you know with when people are being oblivious to what the hell is really going on out here you know what i'm saying I, i'm not gonna fool with you you know what i'm saying like um especially these bigger youtubers or or whatever um that can make a difference you know they don't want to but not only that as in the black community you know you chancing on risking your life you speak out you chancing on risking your life and that is crazy you gotta watch what you say you gotta watch how you say it because everybody's watching you you know what i'm saying and nobody's gonna take that bullet for you nobody's gonna take that you know the chance of you going missing it's 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 that deep this shit is that deep you know what i'm saying so um, if I was him, I would have just, I wouldn't have fucked with her no more. You know but what I'm like, saying? she is so powerful. She Y'all does have such a bit. huge platform. Anytime that anything has ever happened with her in the past, she's always gotten away with it. She never really has to be held accountable. And if I'm being honest, and we're having this real discussion, which I want to in this video, a lot of that does have to do with her white privilege. Had I done half the things, or any other black player done half the things that she's done in her career, we wouldn't be able to keep making videos and have support. This yeah. video is definitely, for me, to get closure, to finally share a story that traumatized me for a long time. But also seeing my community come together right now, seeing so many other black people in the entertainment industry coming out and sharing their experiences with racism, it just made me feel less alone. I feel like we're living in a time right now where as scary as everything is, I feel a little bit more hopeful. So anyway, I guess it's let my Saturday who step out and be a black man, honey, because girl, okay. Okay, <laughs> so now Tana finally decided to come out and she gonna say, um, you know, I had to gather my words together, get myself together, uh, I apologize. She said, I did say some things in the past, but I was an adult and I should know my actions. Whatever, whatever. I don't know, child, it just looks like 2020 is a year of apologies because everybody okay. just apologizes about everything. That just thought, I already apologize. <laughs> But you know, you gotta do it sometimes because okay. sometimes you do be caught up in the bullshit because then you have to stop to apologize. For okay, it. I done had to apologize to um, Yeah, I so it is. It just, like, I, I think people shouldn't apologize for what they said because they said it. Because they, because they meant it. But it, how you say things always get taken out of context. Because it ain't what you say, it's how you say it. So, you know what I'm saying? You can apologize and say, my bad, I ain't mean to say it like that. But I meant it in this way, you know what I'm saying? Or I didn't mean it like that. I meant, you know, what I'm saying? well, same shit. I meant it in this way. So, 
people just like my fault, you know what I'm saying? Black lives do matter. I ain't mean to not say it. Like, shut your ass. That's what's going on, so hopefully they gonna be able to talk about this and get this together, so. Oh, no, child, it is what it is, so. And if I mean, these girls are messy. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Okay. We have Prince versus Queen. Well, you know, last week I had very much spoke on how Chris was upset because Queen would not let him see his son, and allegedly she's um, taking the son away, so Queen got hold of all that, and she said, no, she's not. So now, Chris decided to come back out and say something else. I've never hated nobody. I've never ever hated, but I'm starting to hate this girl, bro. Like, that, that's one thing I do not play about is my son. Like, what? I'm, me and my son has a bond. We so close. And I will never, ever imagine her trying to take my son away from me. Or me not seeing my son. I can't even see him on Father's Day. I talk to her. I'm like, hey, can I see my son on Father's Day at least? She like, come on here. Why do I have to go out there to see my son? You know That's why. That's like me telling you in order for you to see your son. Come he on. didn't go to jail. And then Claire Bear like, I'm gonna laugh and shit, nigga, shit, fuck. When she found out you been cheating, you gonna be mad as fuck. And shit gonna be funny. <laughs> That is hilarious. She goes and she posts on Twitter, um, this way delusional, um, don't believe the hype. And then she says, the first time I say no, it's like I never say yes. I'm like, did she just really tweet? Yeah. <laughs> but it's the truth, though. Okay. It's the truth. So anyway, Queen then decides to um, put out the text messages between her and Chris, which I'm just like, you know what, that's between y'all. Y'all can have that in the courts, but you know, when you're YouTubers, you let everybody know all your business. So, um, where both parents are coming from. He's just upset because he wants to see the child. But Quinn was like, you can come here to see your child. So people are like, if you really want to see your child, you should go to see your child. But it's Father's Day. You should have sent your son out there to end up. Despite what y'all are going through, despite whatever y'all got going on, the child has nothing to do with what y'all got going on. Touché. So I feel, put aside y'all's differences and think about the child and then let the child sit there. And if you don't want to... I could see if an option wasn't given. The option was given. Go see him. I don't think that's that hard. And he didn't say that the court said he couldn't go. He said it would be hard for him to go. If you want to see your child, you will make it happen. Because clearly, the parent, the other parent, saying you got to come see him. And she wasn't doing this until you went to jail and she didn't know where her child was. But y'all, I'm tired of this. <laughs> like, come on now. Tomato, tomato. I need to know where my child at, bro. Uh. Let the child stay after they spend time together. Then yes, now the child can come back home because you are, you know, the mother and there has been issues. But to just tell the daddy, well, you need to come here and you need to do this. It's just like, okay, you need a little bit selfish when you do know that the man loves the child. Because to be honest, you two can make something bigger than what it is. And all these people who have made videos about Chris, it's like now they have turned everybody against him to make it like he's a bad person. So when he does one little thing, it's magnified bigger than... I love the fact that you love Chris. It's so cute. However, um, he has made everybody feel this way about him. Like, you know, just like he don't take no responsibility for nothing he's done, you know. And I understand because, you know, I do support Queen. I've supported her from the jump. And in, in some cases, this has, you know, uh, damn near made you choose a side. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely still on the side of right and wrong. Bro, I need to know where my child at. And the fact that you scared me and I don't know where my child at, I'm going to need you to come see him in my state. Because God forbid you get locked up, I can go get him. That's just how I see it. And what it is. And, and, and I feel like that's why people think he's just this horrible person when Chris really is just a normal ass I don't think guy he's a horrible doing person. some guy shit and it is what it is. Uh -huh. Then Queen goes and she posts some more stuff on Twitter saying that she's gonna be a bitter baby mama. Then she says she's 
flown to Houston to see CJ on his terms while she was pregnant. So I kind of feel what she said too, like whenever Chris can't get in his way, then he wants to get mad. But when she wants it to be her way, then he doesn't want to do it. I just feel like they both got, they still got that lover's drama going on. And they need to put that shit aside and co-parent and stop being YouTubers for a minute and be co-parents for a child because all it's gonna do is just keep y'all in this drunk. So then Chris goes and he says, I have mental issues because I want to see my child blah 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 or whatever. I think Chris feel like a yeah and then Father's Day came and she decided to post the picture up with Clarence and his son along with Chris's baby, which I thought was just so disrespectful. Um I'm just take shit too personal. Um he is you know, the man in the house while his daddy ain't around. So he is taking care of that child as well. I think that he should get recognition for that. And considering that her and her baby daddy don't get along, she don't have to tell him Happy Father's Day <laughs> in publicly. But that man is there for baby CJ when, baby, when, when his daddy ain't around. I, I just feel like that's very simple, but. I'm not a queen's her fandom, don't attack me, but I'm just saying, I felt like that was disrespectful because you had all these other people posting their children, this man can even post his child, but then you he post that dad's child up with somebody else that's not even his father and say happy Father's Day and you you lead by example. That was rude. Hella damn rude. I think that I thought that was the most childish, pettiest. Queen, I'm just so happy that you are being childish and petty, and I'm just happy that you, um, you're no longer letting him bully you, so. Yeah. Shit. Man. I'm really done with this, though, this conversation. God knows I'm done with this conversation. Both of y'all stop being petty. Next case. Next, okay? We have Shiesty versus Lil Wayne. Okay, I'm going to start off. Now, I don't know how all this happened, but I do know that Waquiel always be telling people he'll box them for a certain amount of money. So, I'm guessing, allegedly, K.O. has said something, saying that uh, he wanted to box him and this and that, and he made a video or something. Who goes back and he say, no? You nigga nice as hell. You come like you want to smoke or something. Nigga, I did not ride back you and let my window down and stop you. Nigga, I already seen you before that video in the mall. Nigga, my little man, them ask you for the hundred K. I'm with it. I'm just with it. Since you be boxing that shit, now you retire. Little shake guy. Come on, man. Now that they seeing you again, nigga, and and watching, nigga, you thought a nigga couldn't come and watch for us, or you trying to get your security? What are you trying to do? Tell your security to go to the door or something? Oh, that shake guy, shit, nigga. Come on, better stick to all this singing and shit you be doing, bro. Come on, man, cause I ain't even with all that funny shit anyway. Y'all done made me mad. Fuck you, tell me about where them sticks at. Break this shit up. You don't fight, what you do then? Well, why the hell saw his response and then he comes back and he said, Yo, what did he say? That's what he got to say. Hey, listen, let me tell you something. Hey, listen, all that boxing. I ain't with that boxing. I don't do boxing no more. All right? Stop all that boxing, Jeff. I don't do it. I don't do that for clout. I do it for real. Tell you what your nigga problem is. Y'all too worried about typing on Instagram, y'all ain't getting no money. Y'all too busy doing all this on Instagram typing. Y'all doing more than this, than you get money. Remember what I said? I can't take you get kidding. money. Oh my get god. Honey cake. Don't let the internet get you like, 
Okay. okay. I think uh, Pussy was going to beat that ass. Okay. Because that boy wasn't playing. Whatever he said, he wasn't playing. Yeah, my camera about to die. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, It was cool. This 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 Monday wasn't that messy. This Monday wasn't that messy. But, um, yeah. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace.